So Chuck and I are making our way down to uh, the mine we're going to see today. And on the steepness scale of 1 to 10, where would you rate this one? I'd about a 2.5. A 2.5? <laughs> yeah, right. Be an... Yeah. This is one of the most remote mines we've probably visited, wouldn't you say? Considering with the roads there, with no road or anything, yeah, this is a... I mean, we're out there. I mean, it takes... <laughs> Even with the road to get to the trail, it's, it's yeah. We're... The road to get to the trail is nuts, and then the trail, if you can call it out here, is nuts. But, I went down and scouted it out already, and it's pretty impressive, so I think you guys will like it. Right, all quartz, man. Big quartz ledge. Now, was this the stuff they were using in the radios? Well, it's full of crystals. See, look at all these crystals right here. Damn, dude, that's in, that's nuts. Yeah. What what Chuck's referring to is the fact that we've been told. <laughs> like I said, it. Get in the video. Oh, you, I will. You just stuck that landing, dude. That was awesome. Yeah, that was Olympic style right there. <laughs> As I was starting to say, what I'll Chuck... Give you 8 .5. Thank you. I, just, I think I ruined that one. What Chuck was saying is that we've heard that this mine was kept open during World War II uh, and was mined for crystals in, for use in communications equipment. This is absolutely... And we see all the crystals here. That's very believable. Yeah, what do you see this side up here? Check out this pocket. Holy... Yeah. They carved out a big pocket here. And they got busy. They got busy. So, Holy crap. yeah. I just this ledge here is all quartz still, all in here. You see that? It's just solid quartz. All quartz. So there's this one here. Dude, they were working on this hard. Yeah. There's this one here in front of me, which drops down, and then there's this there's this one right there, the smaller one right there. Okay, so Mr. McBride still got organized. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see how things look inside. Yeah, I might fall down real quickly how it is inside. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is all, this is solid quartz. And a bunch of timbers on the floor there. And I can't tell much farther it keeps going yet. So, in front of me here, you can see uh, these two wooden strips that they uh, hauled the skips up on. And that is flooded, unfortunately. It looks like there's something off to the left. Okay, so. You can see there's two strips of wood to uh, haul the skip car up and out there where Mr. McBride is. You can uh, see a pocket they cleaned out there. There's a, uh, a drift running off to my left that way. And the uh, shaft keeps running down this way. And unfortunately, it appears to be flooded down there. Okay, I'm at the bottom of the shaft now. And this is as far as we're going to go because there's water here. But it's kind of irrelevant because you can see that that is apparently the end of the shaft anyway. Right there. All right, so I'm coming back up the shaft now and I uh, just wanted to show the uh, support timbers there for the, uh, what do you call it? They're not rails, because they're pieces of wood, but what, the thing is a skip car, right, John? What would you call that? Oh, it's just a trip, like a track, you know? Or yeah. Like a skip track. Basically. Skip track, there you go. I'm gonna call it skip track, so. Because it just slides up and down. And yeah, so you can see. do use rail on the bigger ones, but. Yeah. You know. Anyway, you can see another one right there. The support timbers for the skip track, and then there's looking up. 
It's Mr. McBride. You can see the uh, courts all around us. Oh, it's and then we're going to go check out that quartz cavern right there. And another look at the uh, timbers down here. As I was coming up, I noticed this huge crystal right here. It's dirty right now, but this whole thing is, is all crystal. And that's my hand next to it. You see how big it is. So, yeah. that's pretty cool. Alright, so starting into uh, the drift here on the side. It's like grass. You can see it's timbered up here. And it opens up into a large cavern. Oh, whoa. There, and there's a pillar. See that pillar? Yeah, dude. That's just like a 1601, man. That's crazy. That is really crazy. So we were speculating that the uh, other drift up above connected here, but it doesn't. This is an independent drift. And it keeps, see how it keeps running back that way? Yeah. Around the corner. All right, pushing farther in. It's a little uh, difficult getting through all this. See all the quartz crumbs down here. I can see the uh, drill holes still. Yeah, I saw a few on the way down too. Alright, carrying on. How far back that goes? I can't see the end yet. There's where they uh, stoped it out up there. That's some very pure quartz up there. Is it really? Yeah. And then this keeps going this way. Ouch. Okay, here's the end. Looks like here. Yeah. That's the end right there. So it comes around the corner and uh, stops, McBride. Oh, does it? Yeah, but it's an uh, impressive amount of quartz all through here, man. Some interesting growths on this timber back here, too. <laughs> All right, so we're headed up and out, and we'll go check out that other drift out that way. Okay, I just came out of there. You can see uh, Mr. McBride making his way out down there, and I am going to go check out this attic here because we couldn't tell how far in it went. All quartz and iron right there. And uh, this is going to be a very tight squeeze, but I'll do my best. Okay. I'm just inside the portal now, and I can see it. it looks like they just cleaned out a pocket right here. Dead ends right there. There's uh, some timbers here in front of me. Bits of metal, a piece of pipe right there. I'm just going to go in a few feet and just show you what's inside. I guess a, uh, a notch cut out of that for something. <sighs> okay, so uh, just dead ends right there. And there's a pocket cleaned out here. You can see the tree roots growing through the rock, which is interesting. But uh, that's it for this one. So we're coming up on uh, a lot of extra surface work they did here. Where they picked away at these quartz faces. Getting the spider webs out of the way? Yeah. Oh man, they really did a job on that. Hey, look at this. I mean, this is like... Yeah, they worked away this whole cliff face. I mean, that's obviously all shit. You gotta be careful for these holes I here. I told you. Um, yeah, it's... Obviously, it's all eaten in. This is fun. Yeah, they cleaned out the whole face, didn't they? It's all, uh... It's all 
Yeah, it was all quartz. You're standing on like a little mini waste rock pile. Yeah. So you can see all the rocks stacked up there. It's obviously an older site than we realized. There's a pipe right there. Another ledge below us, so we're coming through the trees, seeing what we can find. So up where Chuck is, there's all kinds of stuff that's been uh, carved out, pockets and that sort of thing. There's a big one right there. Yeah. And you can see uh, they dumped all the waste rock down the hill here. And you can see all the white bits of white sticking out from underneath the uh, brush and such. We're still working our way down to the creek. Okay, you can see all this waste rock here in front of me. It all came down the hill from uh, these cliffs here. And then I'm on a crude trail right now. I can see a big pocket up there. And it looks like some modern equipment. So we'll go see what that is. Okay, I would say that this is, uh, or these are the remains of somebody's claim. See like an old wood stove here. Pretty impressive crystal right there. I would say this was abandoned around the time the uh, dredging ban went into place because the creek's just down there and so many of those mines, or excuse me, so many of these claims were abandoned around that time. There's a fair amount of stuff scattered around here. You can see the raft, ice chest, and a uh, Dove. Now right here, we have ourselves in the attic. Ooh, we have ourselves an attic that goes for a ways. Well, okay, we'll definitely be checking that out. Um, let's just show you a little bit more of this guy's camp. A frying pan right there. This guy's lounge chair. Lantern. Uh, I don't know if this is a tent or a sleeping bag. Looks like what's left of a sleeping bag. Some more stuff here. Shampoo bottle. Frying pan switch on the tree. No question why they made the attic there. Look at all that quartz above it. Man. That's a solid wall of quartz, so not even a little bit surprised to see an it here. You can see the uh, frying pan little stove right there. So it probably actually slept inside the attic. A portable radio. It's been there a while. Alright, well, man, it's all quartz. Let's go see where this attic goes. Hmm. Not very appealing. A lot of trash back here. They do like to drink. Man. All kinds of trash in here. But uh, some pretty serious quartz as well. That's all quartz. And I'm not sure why that stuff is stacked up there like that. Also like a pack rat did that or something. Alright, looks like we finally got past all the trash. And this is just solid quartz. All the way through. You see there used to be track in here, you can see the divots where the uh, ties were. Keeps coming back here. And it looks like it may terminate here. Yeah. Terminates here. And... I don't know what that is, it looks like some uh, ore sample right there actually.
I don't know what the hell that is actually. Anyway, that's a nice little drift I got here. Here's looking back at the portal. All right, so I slipped and stumbled my way down from there. And there's an older camp right here. You see the fire ring there. Old coffee pot right here. And uh, a huge piece of wood right here. Looks like the remains of a axe head or something there and some crystals. And old shovel right there. Bunch of quartz and stuff here. And there's something in the cliff face right there. It looks like it might have been cleaned out as well. Okay, so that is actually another whole edit right there. I'm gonna have to drop down into to check out. Can I see the remains of rail down there? Man. All right, stand by. Okay, this is the old-fashioned uh, rail. It was, you know, the piece of wood that had the metal strips on top. I can still see the ties and everything running out that way. It goes for a way. And then it terminates in a collapse right there, unfortunately. But, uh, that's too bad because it looks like it was a pretty good one. With a rail and everything, but... I'm squatting down right now. And, uh, I can see that... Unfortunately, that is it for us. Can't go past that, so... I don't see a reason to keep going. But I am just blown away by how many addicts are down here. I had no idea. There is this much stuff down here. So there's Mr. McBride making his way down to the creek there. You can see a big waste rock pile here, one here. Um, that last ad I went in, it's just back that way. Um, you can see all these huge piles of quartz here and uh, little trails and roads and just all kinds of stuff extending up the hill here. So there was a lot down here and I know there's a stamp mill around here because I've seen pictures of it, but I cannot find it and it's killing me. It's getting dark. It's already, we're already too late to have a nice comfortable trip out, but it's getting dark to the point where uh, we're going to have some difficulties, but really want to find the stamp mill. So it's just killing me right now. So I was hiking down from up there trying to find the stamp mill and in this uh, cliff face right here, you can see there's a small edit right here there's a small edit here as I said just uh, goes down there and stops but there's a lot of stuff here they really worked this site heavily well that was a brutal hike up out of there so out of breath and I don't think I've ever sweated that much in my life but uh back where the bikes are and uh, something interesting I just want to show you Real quickly over here, there's this old broken down truck band in here. So it would seem somebody had a bad day. And I'm actually surprised, if you see how steep this is. I'm actually surprised I didn't keep going down the cliff, but fortunately I didn't. So it's here for us to. Uh, real quickly and then I want to get out of here before it gets any darker